Christian tortillas, which are... All right, you guys, good morning, long time, no vlog. It is a Friday, <laughs> I think the 7th-ish, maybe the 9th, I don't know. Um, everything's just been a blur since coming back from Disney, which I haven't even edited that vlog yet, so y'all will see that one next. Um, but I, we got home from Disney, we were sick as heck, Michael is still recovering, I was more sick than him, and then now he's sick. I've been for two shifts after Disney and like powered through, and then I was feeling really sick on the third shift, so I called out, and um, then we had Michael's parents here all last week, and we did our kitchen floors, dining floors. Um, they look so good, but I didn't vlog any of it just because we were like kind of powering through and getting it done. But Michael and his dad did so good. And they look amazing. So I'll show you guys in this vlog what they look like. We're loving them so far. Um, haven't been to the gym in probably two plus weeks, but it's okay. We're, we're starting day one today. My phone is slipping. Um, we're starting day one today, so. We're getting into our new routine, which is what this vlog is going to be about, um, like a reset type of routine situation. Um, but yeah, we haven't been to the gym, we've been sick, Michael's still feeling sick, uh, we've been eating like crap, but at least we have new floors. That's one thing that we've gotten accomplished. Um, I don't really think there's anything else to update at this point, but I hope you guys enjoyed the... Oh, why this is not sticking. I hope you guys enjoyed the... Um, get ready with or the um, two night shifts vlog with the get ready for Disney and then like I said I'm gonna post the Disney vlog um, before this gets posted so that's the plan I need to get that edited soon and yeah that's kind of what we're doing today we're doing a little reset so we're going to Sam's Club going to the gym gains eating our boiled eggs and drinking our protein shakes we've got strawberry cheesecake flavor today my hair's we got in the sauna for 25 minutes. minutes and i think it was michael's first sauna experience wasn't it babe yeah and your thoughts i'm drenched you're drenched so we did a mile run did you do a mile or less or more Good morning. We both did a mile run, got the sauna for 25 minutes, did some abs, and called it a day. Um, so that was our workout today. Now we are recuperating, drinking our protein shakes, and eating our boiled eggs, and heading to Sam's Club. Warm. I would say that was a Sam's Club success. Yeah. Successful Sam's Club trip. We've not been in probably two months, which is kind of crazy for us because we get like our paper towels, toilet paper, everything from here. Um, so we basically just did like all of our grocery shopping for the next week and a half as well while we were here. So we wouldn't have to go to the grocery store. And Michael got his little Sam's Club treat, always sushi. Yeah. And also indulged in all of the samples. Is that your favorite part? Oh yeah, I mean, go take advantage. Go take advantage. So, we're heading home now. Um, gonna put all the groceries away. We've got our rotisserie chicken, so we might dive into that for lunch. That'd be good. But anyways. Y'all heard it first. Y'all heard it first. The sun has gone away though, and it's kind of depressing. So, we need that to come back up. Okay, made it home and put everything away. The fridge is looking mighty beautiful, if I do say so myself. Got a ton of yogurts, some veggies, salads, 
Um, they had a really good deal on the strawberries this week. It was like $2 and some for this big thing. Um, let me get some mushrooms. Um, we already have all this in here. Oh, Brussels sprouts. And then we found these like knockoff um, Gatorades. They're the Sam's Club brand. And they, Michael's already tried them. And he said that he thinks that they're better than the name brand Gatorades. So that's a win. A ton of meats that we probably won't eat all this week but just to keep in the fridge for now and then we'll put what we don't eat in the freezer. But we have a pork butt, I think, that we're gonna smoke on Tuesday when we get off work. We've got ahi tuna steaks, those are the best. Some ground beef, it's like three packs in there. These huge thing of beef sticks. Um, that's just leftover bacon, leftover ham sandwich meat. We've got some ranch cucumbers that I just chopped up, some vinegar cucumbers, bacon for Michael. I don't know what that is. I think that's turkey bacon. I don't know what that is. Um, boiled eggs. We're going to start keeping these on hand because they are just so good and such an easy, quick, high protein snack. Um, a little perfect bar, some peanut butter, pickles back there, a ton of cottage cheese. It's going to be on the um, snack menu for the foreseeable future because I accidentally just have so much cottage cheese in here. So, going to be eating that. Got a big thing of salsa from Sam's Club. Um, Fairlife's, these are so good to get at Sam's because they're cheaper there. Um, it's 20 bucks for a 12 pack and it's the 30 gram ones, not the 26. Some Waterloo's. I don't really think, oh, we got some of this um, honey turkey and a big thing of cheese sticks because I like to have those with my lunch. And then I don't really think we got much freezer stuff. We just got, we got nothing actually. Oh, I just got these, these um, fully cooked Jimmy needs breakfast sausage and sneak peek of the floors. We didn't really get, we got a big thing of chicken breast, canned chicken breast, because we really like to make those chicken breast pizzas or canned chicken pizzas, whatever you want to call it. Also with some, just like make chicken salad with those would be really good. And we always get these when we go there. They're so good. These coconut crispy rollers, snacky snack. I don't really think we got anything else. Michael got some buns. We've had these corn tortillas in here. These are a staple, but I did not get those at Sam's. And yeah, just very simple. Not the Christmas socks. <laughs> I just realized that these are definitely Christmas. Whoops. Oh, and they even have a little Christmas tree. Love that. Um, anyways, came in here to show you guys. My in-laws just left this morning, <clears throat> literally at 6.30. So we washed their sheets, dried those already. Or washed these sheets, dried them already. Have to put them on the bed. Um, and then I folded all these clothes. So proud of myself. It smells. First of all, you're adorable. You're adorable and you're huge. Say hi, Loggy. Hi from Nash. Um, it smells delicious in here. And I have to show you guys why. You already know I love my um, Buff City soap. What is it called? Um, I can't think. Laundry detergent. But there is a key that I used to use and I haven't used it in a while. Okay. It is these Downy Light Ocean Mist. Has to be the scent. I got a big old bottle of them. They sell them at Sam's Club. Got those today. But I got these the other day at Walmart because I used to use them and I just kind of forgot about them. But they literally change the game. Like they make your laundry smell so good. Michael and I sweat so bad in the sauna today and he was walking around in Sam's Club and I was like, oh my gosh, you smell so good. And it was because of these. So take my rec and get those paired with some freaking narcissist buff city soap laundry detergent the best I might as well show you guys my nobody asked for this but my these are the um what are they called laundry sheets lint sheets that I use um to help get the dog hair out of clothes but I'm not holding out on showing y'all my floors I just want to wait until I can clean them and they look nice so 
waiting to clean the floors and I'll show y'all what they look like. All right, now that I've officially cleaned the floors, now she's down here chomping on his food, um, I'm gonna show you guys the kitchen dining floors. Okay, so these are the floors that we decided to go with. They are 100% waterproof, water resistant, whatever you wanna call it, scratch proof. Um, let me not get this wrong. Laminate vinyl plank is what it's called. He's just my shout out today and every day. Um, laminate vinyl plank flooring. I don't know if you can kind of see up close, but I'm pretty sure that this is the flooring that won on my um, Instagram and YouTube polls. But regardless, we love it. It looks so good. Um, I love that each tile is like a little bit different and it just blends really seamlessly with our old floors. Um, so these are the new floors. They are from the brand Cortec, if you like them. This is the Sonia marble color, um, but I think the brand itself is just, has really good reviews and just has really good integrity floors. Um, so these are the floors that took them about um, one and a half days, two days to fully complete them. And like I said, it's about 250 square foot. Also in addition, I spray painted these black and they look so good. They were like this like beige color and they were getting all rusted. So I spray painted those black. So we got us a little kitchen dining upgrade and I'm so excited. I think they look so good. Let me know what you guys think. Um, then this is our new dining table area situation. I don't know if I've shown the vlogs yet. Correct me if I'm wrong, I don't know. All from Wayfair. Um, gonna get a rug to go underneath here. Michael's burping cabinet. The other door finally came for that. We were waiting on it for forever. Looks so good. Thank you, Nash. This is all still drying, even though we have puppy paw prints. Um, but yeah, we have no couch and we have not had a couch for almost a week now, which is fine. Uh, but we have, hopefully, our new couch is coming in this upcoming week. So. We've got to look forward to, but hopefully y'all like the floors. I'm obsessed. I think they just look so good. Like in the grand scheme of the room, it really just kind of like separates dining from living too. So we love them, but shout out to Michael and his dad for making the vision come to life. Um, I was gonna show you guys something else. Oh, I thrifted this little vase. I've never actually gone thrift shopping before, but I went to this little cute thrift store locally and got this base for $10, which I just love it. And I switched things up kind of a little bit here. I got these from Hobby Lobby, just for like some spring floral. And those light up at night, so that will look really cute. And then I just moved this little girly from that area just to change things up a little bit, add a little bit of greenery into the, hello, into the um, living room. And I think I've shared this on the vlog before, but if not, it's linked on my Amazon. It is a game changer. It's just like candle warmer. And this candle, I have never burned. It literally like just stays at the start. It's it's the weirdest thing ever. Like the candle never goes bad. It's just, it's so weird. And this is like a nice semi-expensive candle. So I'm really excited about that. Um, but yeah, that is the update. Those are the new floors. Move my tripod out the way. Let me know what y'all think, and I'll link the brand and everything down below. But I think I hear Michael waking up, so we're going to go say hello and good morning to him. Oh, also, I think I told y'all I would share, first of all, it's gross, the um, mop that I got. It is this O Cedar mop, and it has, like, this little spin feature, so it gets rid of all, like, the excess water. Whoops. All the excess water, so you're not, like, sopping your floors with water. But that's another wreck. Also on Amazon, of course. Once heard a fight with him over that thing, so bad. Uh, wow. Wow. Hmm. Leftover steak that we had.
this week. I'm having chicken from our rotisserie chicken that we picked up today <laughs> from Sam's Club. We just use whatever cheese. Michael's probably gonna use this reduced fat Mexican. I'm gonna use this dairy-free cheddar from Aldi. And then he uses these Carb Balance Mission tortillas, which I have in here now, I'm gonna flip. And I use these gluten-free Mission tortillas, which are so good if you're looking for a gluten-free option. And then we always sprinkle garlic salt. Wait, no, it's garlic powder, isn't it? Right? I think we're out. Mm, that's tragic. That's okay. Garlic so salt or have to do that. Of garlic powder, but we do that like on either side of the tortilla. Well, sad. Throw some garlic on there, and then you put your cheese. It's literally the easiest thing ever. It took us probably five minutes to prep those ingredients. You know, we just have onions and a bunch of peppers, basically, that we sauteed with chili powder and garlic. Then you're just gonna. Close her up, add, and get nice and crispy. Got our tart cherry juice, about to start working on the vlog. Have my guitar book, Bible, and doggies. Got some turkey sausage, uh, a boiled egg, while we are uploading or exporting our vlog from Disney, chugging some water this morning and getting things done. It is nine o'clock right now. I think I woke up around like 6.45 this morning and got quite a bit done. I did my devotional. I um, edited the rest of my Disney vlog and it's exporting, so hopefully I can get that uploaded maybe today or tomorrow. Um, got ready, let the dogs out, and what else did I do? It's in breakfast, I had my coffee, Michael just got home, and he is going to sleep now, but I'm going ahead and getting ready for the day and getting ready to leave for the gym. About to make my greens, these clean simple eats, um, green apple flavored greens are the ones that I had yesterday. It was the first time I said we're gonna fix some of those. And I've been drinking my water this morning really well. I'm making it a gold mine to start drinking water before coffee in the mornings. So that is a new goal. I don't know if I talked about this yesterday, but I just have been feeling so icky from not having like a routine the past few weeks. Even before we left for Disney, I was really slacking on my routine. Um, so we're kind of like starting fresh with a new one and just trying to incorporate like more healthy habits. Um, so I'm starting to take greens again and definitely prioritizing protein, veggies, fruits, like just eating more whole foods, not eating out as much, doing alcohol as April. So we're, I think, what's today? The sixth? I don't even know. Something like that. Today's the 7th, 8th, I don't know. I, I just lose track. April's honestly going by pretty quickly. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna make my greens. Enough of that rainbow. Um, but yeah, enough rambling. I basically am just like incorporating more healthy habits and being more consistent and more disciplined with my workouts. Um, so yeah, that's kind of where I'm at with that. And it's been super cold out here in Tennessee recently, so I don't know what the what's going on, but we need spring to sprung. <laughs> um, but in addition to my gym, um, in, in addition to my gym visit today, I'm also going to do a Lowe's trip to return some spray paint that I didn't use on these vents, and try to find a screw that goes to our tiller so we can finish tilling our garden, so we can plant our fruits and veggies, um, and then. Oh, I need to make an Amazon return, per usual. So I'm gonna do that and get all that done. Hopefully bright and early this morning because it's only nine o'clock. And I'm getting kind of annoyed with my little like sticky thing uh, because it keeps like sliding off my phone. I really need to get a vlogging camera, you guys. <laughs> um, maybe when I get to like 2,000 followers, I will treat myself. I don't know, we'll see. Um, anyways, I'm gonna have my greens and get ready to leave. And yeah, I'll probably upload this vlog here soon.
of the house and got our greens here. Got my water. I already ate breakfast. And I packed a protein shake for post workout. I'm gonna do 30 minutes on the treadmill um, for a little bit of cardio, walking on an incline, and maybe get some of my book knocked out would be great. Because I am obsessed with this Akhtar book, it's so good. Um, I'm almost finished with it. And then, so that'll keep me entertained. And then I'll also. Um, just like edit a few last minute things with this YouTube video, um, the Disney one. And yeah, then I'm probably gonna go into a back and thighs workout potentially, maybe chest and tries. We'll just kind of see how I'm feeling. I'm super, super, not even sore, just like, I don't even know how to describe the feeling. Like when you haven't worked out in a long time, your body just like aches. Like I literally did nothing yesterday except for run a mile and did um, abs and sat in a sauna. Like that was it. But like even just from that, like my body just like aches at my hips. It's the weirdest thing. I guess it's not that weird because I haven't really had that much physical activity since Disney, which has been like over a week. But anyways, I digress. I'm excited to go get a good workout in today and just feeling really good. I'm glad the sun is at least out, even though it's kind of cold. Um, but we're gonna get some stuff done this morning and then go home and see whatever needs to be like tied up around the house. And then hopefully maybe get a nap in before night shift tonight. I don't want to nap because like I said, it's a nice sunny day and I just would rather like be productive, but I feel like taking a nap is probably my best interest to get me through the weekend. So that's the plan for today, but we're on the way to the gym now. workout is done. It was a really good one. I did not hop in the sauna today. I feel like it's just lonely to get in the sauna by yourself. Like, I can't really read because I feel like my pages would get wet and my book would get ruined. Um, but we are mixing up a post-workout. I have the coconut flavor Clean Simple Eats today. Coconut cream. <clears throat> it's my last little bit of that bag. But we're mixing that on up, having our post-workout shake, and going to do some returns. Well, I just left it. Lowe's. I think I got the right thing. I literally have no idea. Michael sent me in there with this. If I can get it out. This, like, broken screw that's been on this old, old tiller that we have. It's literally from like the 1960s, I swear, <laughs> 1970s, something crazy like that. Um, so let's hope that this is right, but I feel like the guesstimate, I mean, couldn't be much better. So we'll see, let's hope that we fix our tiller so we can plant our garden. So did that, now on to the Amazon return. my little ant log, but better. It's just dates that I pitted. I normally get them from Aldi because they're cheap there. Um, and I think I have three here. Yeah. And I just split them in half, pit them, and then put some Justin's peanut butter on top. Little focus. And then some Enjoy Life um, mini chocolate chips. And that's my little post lunch. My goodness, dinner. a new toy? Oh my goodness. Oh, Nash. Okay. Nash says sharing is caring. Nash is playing the pig. Gracie, get the chicken. Can you eat a chicken? It's your favorite kind of toy. It's got the ball in it. We got these off of Amazon and they have these little, I don't know where their ball is. Oh, it's over there next to the door. But it has these little balls like inside the toys when they rip up the toy. <laughs> they get the ball too. Get it, girl. Oh, goodness. All right, y'all, we are on the way to work bumping in here. Um, I was a really bad vlogger today and did not catch up with y'all after I made it home from returns and stuff and going to the gym, but that's just because I took a nice nap. I laid down at like one o'clock, read some chapters in my book, and then woke up at three. So that was a really good nap for a Saturday for me, like my first shift on 
Um, but yeah, now I'm on the way into work. And I think I'm gonna end this little like get my life together vlog here because I feel like we've got some good stuff accomplished over the weekend. Um, I just really want to get my house like back in order after having my in-laws come and after Disney and just feeling better and eating better. We ended up having some ahi tuna seared on the um, cast iron over a salad for dinner and that was delicious and I've got that packed with me for lunch. Michael actually packed my lunch for me. Surprise, surprise. Um, but yeah, I'm doing really good my water today too, guys. So this is my, I think Michael filled this up just now, but I think I'm working like halfway through my third one. That sounds about right. But yeah, he just filled it up. So I will drink all of this at least by like midnight tonight. Yeah, and I've still got my like to-go coffee with me too. I'm gonna chug that. I'm sure like within the first few hours of my shift because I'll need it. But sorry, I know you guys can't hear me because my road is super bumpy. But hopefully y'all enjoyed this like short and sweet little get my life together vlog. 